Well, Indonesia is bracing for hazy conditions as it battles an increased number of wildfires. The dry season is intensifying across the country and is expected to peak this month, mostly over Sumatra. The country's Met Agency warns that the country is expected to see less rainfall due to the El Nino weather phenomenon. It is bringing hotter and drier weather to the country and prolonged dry season. Now, this leads to a higher risk of wildfires, of course. Uh, the blazes lead to worsening air pollution and the haze in Southeast Asia's region due to those forest fires has been a recurring problem over the past decades. So let's get more now. We're speaking with Stevian, Associate Professor at the Asian School of the Environment, Nanyang Technological University. He is also the Principal Investigator of the Earth Observatory of Singapore. Steve, is, what's, what's your biggest concern? Because the fact is, El Nino is not only getting hotter and drier, but it's getting longer as well, isn't it? Uh, according to the latest uh, climate uh, updates, the El Nino has developed already and then is uh, expected to become uh, more uh, uh, serious in the coming two months. At the same time, on the other hand, we also see the uh, positive Indian Ocean Dipole is likely to happen, even though we still need more weeks to confirm, but uh, most likely the both of the phenomenon that would give us a drier environment in our region here, so that the background climate condition has developed. And then now in this case is once the wind prevailing wind direction uh, is favorable for the uh, uh, pollution transport, uh, we will uh, probably have the higher chance to have the uh, transboundary haze in uh, Singapore here. Yeah, but it also impacts uh, the, the, the forest fires itself, right? In terms of the fires that have been started for burning might perhaps spread faster. And then, of course, subsequently the air pollution for the region. Uh, correct. Uh, in addition to the climate, uh, the next thing that we have to uh, take care of is the emissions. As you mentioned, right, it, the, if our background condition becoming drier, so once fire event happen, that would spread geographically uh, and also the duration could be longer than uh, normal. So that would give us more uh, pollutant in the air that would uh, give us the higher chance to have the uh, transboundary air pollution. Mm. Uh, you know, weather experts, I believe, back in June this year, told CNA that there was, uh, what, a 70 to 80 percent chance of El Nino weather phenomenon. Um, is that still the case, 70 to 80 percent? And does that then mean that there's a 70 to 80 percent chance of haze as well? Um, we... Uh, according to the climate projection right now, uh, we see the data uh, El Nino has developed already. And then now case is in the coming two months, we've seen more serious uh, the uh, uh, El Nino effect will happen in the coming two months. And at the same time, we it doesn't mean that the transboundary haze will have the same probability. Because as I mentioned, we create the uh, drier background climate condition for the favorable transport of the pollutant. However, we still have the uh, favorable prevailing wind to bring the pollutant heating to the uh, our country here. So that is still uncertain, uh, depending on the mm. wind uh, variability every day. Right, so so that's uh, still a bit of a question mark in terms of, of the wind. Uh, well, I guess the weather is one thing, but, but as you look at your data, um, do you have the sense that, that Indonesia is improving or is doing enough uh, in recent years to, to sort of combat the, the, fa the, the fires and the haze? Because it's not something new that we've seen. It's been going on for decades now. Uh, we do not have the detailed information uh, what the uh, Indonesian government did, but uh, according to the satellite images, we do see a uh, fire events happening, uh, especially in the southern uh, Sumatra. And that is uh, requiring a close monitoring of the fire events. So that would be a uh, earlier preparation for the transparent haze. Once we have substantial, uh, like the uh, fire events happening, 
And at the same time, we have the favorable prevailing wind predictor mm. in the coming few days. For example, we will uh, start to prepare how we can uh, mitigate the uh, impact in Singapore here. Yeah, I want to talk about the impact in a second, but but before that, it's not just an Indonesian problem. I believe that you know several countries, other countries are are involved as well. Indonesia, Malaysia as well. Um, what do you think that we 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 need to do? corporately together to to combat the haze i think the close monitoring of the fire events are very critical because that is the source of the pollutant at the same time we need the uh, early uh, prediction of the uh, weather especially the uh, rainfall and uh, wind direction and wind speed would be uh, very critical for the early preparation of any transboundary haze happening. So I think the uh, regional close monitoring of fire events, as well as the uh, uh, weather forecast, mm. would be a very critical information for the governments in our regions here. So, Professor, you'll be very important uh, to all of us in the next few months, uh, especially here in Singapore. Uh, frankly, we can already see a slight haze in the air. Do you think it's too early for people to prepare now? For example, you know, we all have masks at home due to COVID, but, you know, are we wearing the right kind of masks for the haze? Hmm. For the masks that we used for the COVID-19, uh, is not designed for that kind of events. So if we would like to mitigate or avoid the uh, substantial health impact from the transplanted haze, we need the uh, mask, uh, for example, N95. That would be effectively to remove the substantial amount of the particulate in the air. And at the same time, in the indoor environment, we also need a air purifier with the uh, HEPA filter uh, decrypted. And also we have to uh, regularly uh, replace the little filter from the air purifier to make sure that our PM level in the indoor environment would not uh, be uh, too high for the uh, health impact. All right, we appreciate uh, all your input on this uh, evolving topic, developing uh, topic of the haze. Uh, I've been speaking with uh, Steve Yin, Associate Professor at the Asian School of the Environment, Nanyang Technological University. Thank you.